Well, it's 8.30, Saturday morning. I'm wearing a stripy shirt and I'm feeling good. And so should you. Because it's time to do it all one more time. Well, not really. But you know how you say one more time because it kind of vibes you up. Makes you feel like it. Anyway, you are watching The One. The only video gaming program that will ever lower itself to the depths that we're about to. I'm going to take you to a place you've never been before. It's a dream. We're three minutes away from... Uh, we're now in the approach phase. Everything looking good. 31 seconds, and we're... Still looking very good. Fire. 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 Lordy, 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 I'm truly in heaven on the zone today, gaming brothers and sisters, yes, I truly am. Yeah, so let's join together and rejoice with the almighty Wayne Gretzky, the kick and combat cars, Super Chase HQ, and Pirates of Dark Water. Then there's Jurassic Park on the almighty 3DO. Join your hands, brothers and sisters. Oh, yeah, brother Mutt tells us what's up. What's up, Mutt? I'll tell you, mate, absolutely, positively, absolutely nothing. Adam cries. Shut up. And then we celebrate with uplifting cheeks. Oh, yeah. Joyous play, guys, and the blessed games with shootout keeps on kicking on. We do the buzz and then open our hearts to some zone-approved games. Hallelujah. Glory be and praise the great gaming guru. Cause this is the... Zone. Oh, hallelujah, brother. Oh, uh, hallelujah, zone. Hallelujah. I think I've been saved. Oh, yeah. 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 Zone, yeah. zone, zone, zone. Yeah. With American sports being all the rage these days, we thought we'd take a look at the ice hockey game from one of the true masters of the sports, a legend of the ice rink, and a man who stands head and shoulders above his peers. What's his name? Finally, a decent game for the PC. A hockey game, that is. Wayne Gretzky 3 is as close to the real thing as a PC can get. With a load of options bigger than the nose of my face, there's heaps of combinations to play in. This game doesn't look too bad at first, but the game view screen and layout is extremely harsh indeed. The players are small and incredibly hard to control. The puck is even smaller and the goalie is twice as wide as the goal. Not the most fitting tribute to the world's greatest hockey player. The actual gameplay is hard at first and difficult to master, especially with the mouse. But with time, one can become as great as the man himself. Um, I wish I could. It does have good features though, like adjustable game speed good clear sound effects, and a host of game options to play. Although these guys should have taken notes from EA's NHL series, this game, once you've got the hang of it, is not too bad to play. But it's not that great. 67. The layout of the game leaves little to be desired, as the players are hard to see, let alone the puck. And maybe they should check out a few of the EA games to have a look at the setup. But overall, it's a pretty cool effort. I mean, if I can score goals, it's got to be good. 78. Hi, it's Jimbo here. And here's a level skip for Arrow the Acrobat on the SNES. On the start option screen, enter this code. Down, A, down, Y, down, A, down, Y. Then start the game. Once you're in the game, press pause and enter this code. Up, X, down, B, left, Y, right, A, left button, then the right button, and you'll hear a chime. Now, whenever you want to skip a level, press pause, then hit select and you walk through the entire stage. If you're the type of person that doesn't like driving games because you tend to hit absolutely everything on and off the track, then you're going to love this. Amos takes time out of his busy comedy career to have a look at Super Chase HQ. In Super Chase HQ, you play a smuggler busting cop with no gun. Instead, the very generous department has given you a flashy sports car to pursue and apprehend the crims, who at this moment are speeding down various roads. It's not as good a deal as it sounds though, when you discover that the bad guys have guns, rocket launchers and even attack helicopters keen to toast you. And all you can do to stop the bad guy's car is by ramming it with your own. If you think it sounds intense, well you're wrong. 
There's long, boring bits of driving and obstacle avoiding before you catch up to the suspects. Though the appearance of bikers you can run down pep things up a bit, but not by much. Not having any weapons is frustrating, as bullets and various projectiles are almost impossible to dodge. The graphics, whilst better than the very lame Outlanders, are still pretty bland. The sprite scaling of the cars heading your way is far from smooth, and collision detection is very poor. Sound effects and music are adequate. The impact crunch is pretty good, but could be beefier. There's really not much to recommend about this game, as Mario Kart and the brilliant stunt race FX give you a much better adrenaline-charged driving and car ramming experience. 61. What's up, Matt? Huh? The sky. Which reminds me, remember my car, the one that goes... It was brutally attacked last night by a one-legged seagull named Burnett. Go on, laugh. But it's not funny, mate. Not one little bit. If it happened to Tim or Arthur Tunstall's car, then it would be funny. Right then it'd be funny. But when it happens to the car that goes... It's a real... Ciao. Ah! Stole the Mega Drive games he owns. Sound familiar? But this guy knows her for about five bucks. He can rent Sega's latest release, Disney's Jungle Book, from his local video store. And when he's dodged all the killer bananas, deadly snakes and jungle creatures, and he's through all ten levels, plus the five bonus levels, Shere Khan is gonna kick his butt! So for about five bucks to make sure you rent Disney's Jungle Book for your Sega Mega Drive, the choice is easy. Video easy. I see trees. Louis Armstrong. Zone approved games, man. This is rock and roll. Fast, loud, aggressive, in your face action. It's great fun to play, especially wiping out your opponents. Rock and roll racing will have you hooked for months. It's worth a big 87. Overall, 83. This game is hot. Here's the lowdown. Street Fighter 2 is simply the best one-on-one -on -one fighting game ever made. It was always destined to be great. But now that it's turbo, it's destined to be great fast. It's a must-have game and worthy of a big 95. For me, 93. Super Metroid is so good, it makes you want to drop your pants and run around your Super Nintendo yelling a whoopee. Combining elements of RPGs, puzzle games and shooters, you must find Metroid Jr who's stashed away somewhere in the abso whopping huge underground complex. And at 24 megs, it's the biggest game Nintendo has ever made. This is everything a game should be, and then some. I'll give it 94. I'd give it a 94. Okay, it's time to take a trip to Jurassic Park with Bev on the Mega CD, man. When you get to the Triceratops stage, find the car and press the horn twice. Then wait. The Triceratops will charge at the car and a crowbar will fall out. Now when he moves back a tad, Press the horn twice again. He'll ram the car a second time and an injector will fly out. Wait for the sucker to take another step back and press the horn once. Now quickly turn, pick up the injector and put it into the sick dinosaur. Magically it will spring back to life, meaning you won't worry about becoming a part of the next footprint of some overweight dinosaur. Jurassic Park. No, wait, wait, wait. I know, I know, I know. Seen it all before, done it all before. You're sick of it, but 3DO Jurassic Park. <laughs> yes, my cafickle friends. And when I say cafickle, I really mean cafickle. Yep, it's on the 3DO. It's a great game, and uh, I'm here to tell you about it. Not only that, but it, it's actually the first game that ever made me jump. Cafickle? Cafickle? I've never heard of cafickle. I've been on the phone. I'm alive. I've never heard of cafickle. Hey, Vini! Hey, Rocky! What does he mean, cafickle? I don't know. What for means the word cafickle? Oh, I don't know what you mean by that, mate, but what about you, Georgie? Ficka fickle. Oh, I don't know. You don't know anything. That's because you're a stupid thing on the wall. Which way uh, did I go? That's right. Where's Gavickle? What is Gavickle? Let's ask Adam. What's Gavickle? Yeah, you, 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 can you guys keep it down? Gavickle, what is Gavickle? Trying to introduce a game here. Okay? No, no. Please want to know Yes, I said Gavickle and I met Gavickle. Uh, Shut up! Oh. Thank you. Well, there's no doubting it. It's official. The 3DO is the most amazingly groovy piece of gaming hardware. I love it. I want one. And would somebody please send me one? When you do, though, just make sure you don't include Jurassic Park Interactive as one of the 20 games you send with it. I mean, let's face it, most of us are pretty well Jurassic Park right out. For us to get really reinterested in the whole dinosaur vibe, we're going to have to see a new and spectacularly interesting angle of gaming introduced. The 3DO could and should have been the machine to do it, but sadly, it was not to be. Engineering. The vibe is an old, tried and failed one. Tiny screen and not much to do. You have two jobs. One, crack the five levels of security codes to the Jurassic Park computer system, done so by achieving a score above 20,000 
on a dinosaur up version of five classic arcade hits, like Space Invaders, Galaxians, Asteroids, etc. And two, via your video screen, ensure the safety of the trapped guests by guiding them to the helipad individually, done by way of three different arcade situations. One, escaping the T-Rex in a four-wheel drive. Two, the bit that makes you jump, avoiding the raptors in a doom-like 3D maze. Quite a tense moment. And three, frying those little slime-spitting critters before they spit slime at you. Incredible sound, breathtaking graphics, some of the time. Other times, it's surprisingly lame. But in the end, the feeling you get with this interpretation of Jurassic Park is, if you played it once, you played it a thousand times. It gets a 70. If your chosen team isn't performing like you'd hoped in NBA Jam Tournament Edition, you can actually swap teams at half time in a game. To do this, hold the joystick to the right and press the pass button until a box called Team Swap Enable appears. Now you can pick any of the 27 teams and use Pass to move to the next team on the list. Once you've got the team and the players you want, hit the Shoot button to lock it in. If you still get beaten in the second half, then it's not the fault of the team, you just need more practice. Yeah, fair enough, but when do I get to win? You do. Ah, oh, OK. Where is he? Where is Motley? Where is he? He's not here. I'm here. The absence is here at beautiful downtown Lincoln on his own again for the fourth time in a row. Cigarette. Ah, oh, I'm going to fix him today. You know how it's 3-2 at the moment? <laughs> I'm making sure it's 3-3 three, three by the end of today's guys. Come in, come in. I've rigged the joypad so the D-pad on the left button doesn't work for his two guys. See, we're having a four-player multi-tap. There... Who are the people today? We're our celebs. Um, we've got um, two cricketers and uh, two Sydney King basketballers playing today, Ed. Hey, Matt. <laughs> How you doing, brother? How long has he been here for? How long have you been here for? Oh, long enough. Let's go inside. <laughs> okay, here we are inside of the Games of Superstore. Happy, happy. He's a cheat. Tell him about the game. Mate, this means a lot to me, Tell right? Tell about the van, love. He cheated on Chop Lifted Friend. I'm never going to forget it. Anyway, yeah, in EA dreams. Sports, FIFA International Soccer, our first four player, count it, one, two, three, four player multi tap, two people against two people, two really cool happening people against two people that are going to lose. Wayne hey. Holdsworth and Gavin Robertson, who are the world's best cricketers, best cricketers um, are playing for best Paul best Barrick in the ACT, and the losers today will be, oh, isn't he smug, Tim Morrissey and Greg Hubbard are playing for Kylie Mitson. Kylie, didn't your, didn't your mum Don't you worry, you, Kylie, mate. The Sydney Kings, the Kings, are going to do it. OK, Big Daryl, how big is it, mate? Oh, Gibbo, it's just huge. The basketballers versus Queen Series, Gavin. There's Cracker against Timmy and Greg. It's going to be a huge day. It's going to be a huge night. It's EA. It's FIFA International Cycle. I'm the Mega Drive soon. Games with style. So, 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 so. Monday. Careful is my... So. This is the buzz, live in the cave, Saturday morning, I'm here live, not lying to you at all. And the first bit of buzz i got for you is The Lion King. It's the latest smashery movie from the dudes at Disney, and take it from me, Lion King the game is just around the corner. Put together by the people who brought you Aladdin, you can be sure that the animation and the gameplay in this will be first class. We'll keep you up to date on this. Call me ahead of my time, but Sony's game pushing is hotting up. Vortex is the next generation of Super FX chip games and it's hitting the shelves near you in about October. The basic concept is to destroy everything inside by using some pretty amazing morphing and weapons. We'll do a full review closer to the release. The Zone's great gaming trivia competition just keeps on rolling. The winner for the second week is... Jason Singh, only South Oz. And they've scored 500 bucks worth of software from the world's best gaming companies. Sega, Nintendo, EA and Playcore, all five of them. They've also qualified for the semi-finals to be run here in Zoneland in four weeks' time. And if you reckon you've got what it takes to be Oz's great gaming guru and win a Sega Mega Drive, a CD, a Super Nintendo Entertainment System and a Game Boy, plus all the games you can possibly handle, then ring 0055-60209. That's 0055-60209. Put your head to it, but remember, the calls are charged at 55 cents a minute and you must get your oldies permission before calling, otherwise you burst in big time. I say urban strike, I say terrorism, I say bomb mania, death, destruction and full on good times. What a game. And in honour of its upcoming release, EA and The Zone are giving someone and their mate a chance to jump aboard the Flying Skipster and cruise to Sydney to take on the Might Zone Army in the mega shootout at Zone 3. All you have to do is be available on September 17th and then on the back of an envelope write the name of the two other games in the Strike Trilogy. 
send your entry to the Zone Urban Stroke Competition, PO Box 27, Willoughby, New South Wales, 2068. What are you waiting for? Oh, Muttley. Sucks to be me. Yeah, Mum, yeah, Mum, it's me. Um, listen, can you enter me in the Urban Strike competition? I've got my gun, I've got my gear, I've got everything ready. I just, I just can't make the call myself. I'm stuck here on the wall all day. Oh, look, out, he comes grumpy again. Go, oh, boy. No respect. Interruptions. Anyway, parts of Darkwood. Yes, you do, Adam. Now, it could be a game about big, buffy men being really dirty and wearing hats with skulls and crossbones and swords playing in the sewers, but it isn't. Here's a cool platformer. It ain't nothing too flashy, just your standard run-of-the-mill type thing, but it just happens to be way too much fun. The graphics, the scrolling, the sounds, the characters, movements and controls are great to see, watch, hear and play. The playability of the game is one of the best features. And as it's about pirates and stuff, there's heaps of treasures to collect and tons of secret rooms, tunnels and platforms. As platformers go, there's not much between a lot of today's market. Pirates of Darkwater might surprise a few of the would-be platform skeptics out there. The character is easy to control with good reaction time on jumps, attacks and combinations of both. Overall, this game shows what Castlevania will be like on steroids. With this game being jam-packed full of fresh-fingered frenzy, it guarantees long sleepless nights strapped into your console. 82. Being about pirates, of course, there's heaps of treasure to pick up along the way. The layout of the actual game is pretty good too, with buildings, caverns, doors and other scenery to jump on, knock down, climb and open. The first few stages are about trying to get the key to the door to open the next stage. Boring, you might think, but these stages are good for training and getting used to the character's moves. The only letdown I can find is that the sound isn't that great. In fact, some of the effects are just, well, out of date. Which is frustrating to see, or is that here? Well, anyway, the game is not too bad to say the least. 79. Well, Greg, Tim, confident we're uh, going to win this? Had a bit of a practice? Okay, yeah, we have, we yeah. have to be honest here. I mean, you know, the other guys are the have scored a goal and, and we actually haven't yet and it's 2-1 goal but I think that's make it, that makes it our turn. These guys are sponsored by Sega so uh, you've already had a Mega Drive given to you each and uh, <laughs> they're pretty good at it I think so uh, why don't we knock over to Mutt and see what he has to say. Okay we're here with the world's best cricketers Gavin and Wayne and um, we've already scored eh? It's a walk in the park. Yeah yeah we're just gonna romp it in. <laughs> Basically we just don't need to practice or anything we're unreal so we're gonna get into the game so let's get into the game right now. Confident fellas? Not a problem, I think we'll do it easy. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be working hard. Let's go. Oh, what a game this promises to be. The cricketers are right on the march. They're down on. It's a big save early. Oh, yeah, big save by the cricketers there. Adam in the background looking for a win. He's coaching like a madman. Never seen him coach before. Back to the action. Darrell. He does need the win. Now, the cricketers are looking huge. They're passing the ball around the blue team. That's the blue team. Downfield. He shoots. Cracker shoots. It's a goal. It's huge. One up, cricketers. Yeah, the cricketers got straight in for a big goal now. Now, the basketballers need to get She's back here. She's a keep Oh, Look at mate. That. Fantastic. The game's on a knife's edge. There's butter on the pitch, I think, mate. That's right, Sissy kick with garden shears in hand. The basketballers need this goal. They're Another going shot. for it. Oh, it's just over the top. What a great save. That cracker is short. He's tall. He's all over the place. Gavin's twisting miracle leg spinners. Look at this. They're on fire, Gibbo. Yeah, they're coming back at the field. They're looking for another goal. Oh, and it's just gone oh, sideways. Oh, my prediction is more, it's going to be all over. More it's sideways than a Commodore in the wet. That's amazing. That's right, Gibbo. I think it's counting down now. Five. Four, it's all over. There's not enough time. They're what do you reckon? I've said it once. I've said it twice. That's I've said, it. That's it. I won. I won, Gibbo. That's amazing. You weren't even on the field. Back to Adam now. Okay, well, uh, Kylie, sorry about that. You've still got 150 bucks worth of Mega Drive stuff, but I'm afraid uh, Matt has done it again. It's now 4-2, and I'm a sorry loser. Yes, big coaching win, the cricketers, the illustrious cricketers, and our illustrious soccer players have won for Paul Barrick of ACT. You get 600 bucks worth of stuff for your home console. And well done, fellas. Champion goal scorer, champion round. defender. Well done. Yeah, thanks, well no problem. Done. Thank well you. Done. Bad luck, guys. And, and, and you guys, mate. Beautiful, on the day one. Beautiful indeed, Adam. What a game. We'll be back soon with some more stuff on the zone. Zone, 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 zone. This guy's finished all the Mega Drive games he owns. Sound familiar? But this guy knows that for about five bucks, he can rent Sega's latest release, Disney's Jungle Book, from his local video store. And when he's dodged all the killer bananas, deadly snakes, and jungle creatures, and he's through all ten levels, plus the five bonus levels, Shere Khan is gonna kick his butt. So for about five bucks to make sure you rent Disney's Jungle Book for your Sega Mega Drive, the choice is easy. Video easy. Anthony. 
Hi, we're back again with another GameStar Cheat of the Week. This time we've gone through the GameStar Nudie Cheat file to bring you a cheat for Super Mario Bros. 3 on the SNES. This cheat will give you unlimited Hammer Brothers suits. In World 6, complete levels 1 and 2, and you should be able to get to a Hammer Brother. Defeat him and get the hammer. Go right to the pipe, which is blocked by a rock, smash the rock with the hammer, and go through the pipe to the mushroom house and pick up the Hammer Brothers suit. Return to the map screen and save the game. Restart from the last save, re-enter the pipe and the mushroom house and find that your suit is back. Do this as many times as your greedy soul desires. Of course, this cheat works best while you are B, B and B. Bare, bold and bodacious. From the beginning of time, best friends have liked nothing more than blowing each other up, which makes Liz Bev and a game called Combat Cars the perfect match. And if we're really lucky, we may never see any of them again. Now here's a game I can get into. It's a simple concept that makes for cool gaming. Car racing and blowing things up, just because they're there. Not to mention beating your best mate across the finishing line. Using, of course, any means possible. Now here's a game that can quite easily be called the Micro Machine Sequel slash Takeoff. All the ingredients are the same, tiny cars, fast tracks and plenty of power-ups. What makes combat cars different from the rest? The ability to wipe out other cars. Excellent! The graphics aren't the greatest, which leaves the game looking a little underdone, but the actual gameplay is great, with thumping tunes to listen to while you scream around some most heinous tracks, spilling oil, shooting missiles, laying mines, and generally causing mayhem. There's a bit extra one should be aware of when playing, and that's earning cash. You gotta buy all the weapons, turbo speeds, and engine soup-ups you can lay your hands on. Else, you'll be left for dead at the start line. 71. With a variety of weapons to disable other cars, it's guaranteed enjoyment, especially for two players. The game does have a couple of nagging factors, but hey, what game doesn't? Overall, it makes for great two-player action, with no two tracks being exactly the same. 72. All right, guys, what else can I say then? See you next week. That's exactly what's going to happen. Bye now. OK, that's a wrap. Well done. Beauty Edge, well done today, mate. It was a great zone. I thought Thanks, we really informed yeah, no, was a good show. this one. <laughs> 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 this camera angle, yeah. same camera angle. I know, I know, babe. I know, babe. I know. just me. chill, all right? Same camera angle. The camera's going to be... I know we've had two, two, two weeks of the same rock, camera shot, all right? Don't, you'll don't get in there. You're in frame. You're in frame. Don't worry about it. It's going to be a bit in frame. You shut up. Yeah, you're going to be quiet. Mum, don't have her call him. Yeah, yeah, right. Broccoli. 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 What are you talking about? I want broccoli. No, he never makes broccoli. He's 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 brocc